George Georgiatis. Are you ready to take the goddess approved chef challenge? I'm gonna do octopus, grilled octopus. Octopus of the goddesses. Let's do this. We're octopus, do this. I mean. <gasps> oh my Straight God. up. Straight up octopus, look at that. We're not messing around. We're not messing around. It's the beak of the octopus. The so beak where they bite you? Yeah, the little mouth. Could I get an octopus like this at the grocery store? You would ask a fishmonger, you could special order. It yeah. sounds kind of sounds rustic. Little, yeah, I like fun. it. Fishmonger. All right, so find your local fishmonger, get them to give you an octopus. Now what? We got to do a little surgery over here. I might be really good at this. I kind of do neurosurgery on the side. Do you? Yeah, I'm totally a neurosurgeon. You'd probably be good at this. Cutting off the head, man. Right there, give it a cut. There I do this go. for a living. And what you Oxalus do is nothing. I do nothing brains. Forever. It might be brains and octopus. Yeah, but there's a brain in there. And then what we do next, we want to separate it so it lays flat when it cooks. We cut it down the middle, and then we make sure we take the beak out. The beak. The beak is gone. No beak. Look at that. We cook it in red wine vinegar. And Ooh. and Anything to do with red wine, I'm a big fan of. <laughs> Doesn't like red wine, man. I love <laughs> Who doesn't wine. like red wine? It's good for your heart. So we put the octopus in here like this. And if you really want to, you could cut it in two little sections to put in a little smaller pan. It's a beautiful octopus. It is a beautiful octopus. Nice color. Can we name her? Let's name her. What would you like to name her? Like something with an O? Oh, Ophelia. Ophelia, Ophelia the octopus. <laughs> that was about two cups of. Oh, really? Uh, Just two? Two cups. That's okay. it. You basically, the reason why you don't measure this okay. is because you want it to just cover the octopus. Okay. So don't get caught up in don't measurements. Don't get caught up in measurements. Just right. use your instinct. Yeah, trust your it. gut. Yeah, exactly. Trust your gut. Trust your... Trust your gut. Yeah. Trust your octopus. Do you trust your octopus? Oh, I trust Ophelia. So what I like to put in this also is bay leaves, peppercorns. And then you just... And we're going to wrap it with foil and bake it in the oven for around an hour and a half at 400 degrees and I'm giving you these vague things because like we said before nothing is a science and nothing is perfect though. that's true especially with life and cooking man. life and cooking it's yep. the same everything's forgiving as long as it tastes good exactly cover it up life and cooking life is cooking isn't life, it life is cooking right? and cooking is life that's yep. why I stopped neurosurgery it didn't have the same well, you really life giving can you kind of eat your products with neurosurgery <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, I mean, no. no. Unless you're a zombie. <laughs> oh my god, chef, we've man. totally gone off track. Then you get to eat what you what you cook. Yeah, then, yes. you know? yeah. <laughs> that's the bonus <laughs> of being a chef versus a neurosurgeon is you can eat what you cut. A little <laughs> tip from us to you. Here you go, Andonia. You want to bake this in the oven for us? Who is this? Andonia. Andonia. Hi, Hi Andonia. Come say hello. This is beautiful Andonia. She's a goddess. She's totally a goddess. Just throw it at Valentina. Thank you. He's okay. Now we're going to show you once the octopus yeah. is cooked what we're going to do. Dun da da da. Get it real close. Yeah. And what I like to do is brush it with a little lemon and olive oil. What is it? A, it's a lemon and olive oil emulsion. Okay, so how do you do that? Break yeah, it down. I'll, break it down for me, fellas. I'll break it. She wants me to break it down. <laughs> Doesn't give a guy a break. Well, though. I want to know. This is my informal culinary all education. All my secrets? I could teach you how to do brain surgery. I think that's a fair trade. Lado lemono for brain surgery, man? <laughs> Stay tuned. So lado lemono is a traditional Greek sauce. Okay, so recipe. Let me throw this on the grill real quick. Okay, sorry. Don't mess with the salad. I'm gonna throw it on the grill. What are the ratios with a salad dressing normally? Is that like a two to uh, one type of a thing? You're the expert. Two. <laughs> you're the brain surgeon. <laughs> That's true. So two parts oil to one part citrus, being the lemon juice. That's easy. Then What's a that? pinch of? A pinch of saffron, Okay. a pinch of salt, and a pinch of mustard powder. That's it. Bang, done. And you guys have a blender at home, right? When you just hit that, zap it up, and it's perfect. Done. Bang. Oh, I got to flip my octopus. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. How do you know when to flip it? I mean, the trick to the octopus is, one, you want to oil your grill a little bit so it doesn't okay. stick. And two, it probably takes about two to three minutes on either side to give it a nice char. It's not that hard. It's definitely not as hard as neurosurgery. Got to really fire that octopus up. Now you're showing off a little bit. I look like the it's type okay. of guy to it's show okay. up. It doesn't win you any points with the challenge. No, no, it's not. It's all about taste. I'm going to show you. You see how I'm getting the grill marks on there? That's what we want to try to do. We like to cut it a little bit on a bias. Cutting something on a bias is cutting it on an angle, basically. 
That's it. Yeah, let's not oh, chef try to make it fan. It's like the operating table. I do this all day long. Well, That's what makes it sexy. Oh. Okay, so we're cutting this on a bias, which is just did at an angle. Simple red onions okay. with dill. Then we put a little bit on the bottom, and then I like to put the octopus right on top of that. What's this? That's parsley. How much? As much as you think, Brian. What do you think? Sprinkle. You're the chef. That's good. That's perfect. Okay. What's this? <laughs> this is Greek oregano from the mountains of Crete. The mountains. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And now this, we're getting this, intense. This I don't know if we're ready. Oregano. This you just have to put a little bit of oregano on because it's very oh. pungent in flavor. Okay. I'm glad you took that over. I'm going to need some oh. olive oil and red wine vinegar. Well, look at oh. those. That Those are beautiful. Look at those beets. You don't even see that. Ooh. It's all right. You can put some beets in it. You really? might have created something good. Go ahead, put some beets on there. Right. Oh, maybe. I think I just totally tricked you into putting beets in that because I love beets. That's the neurosurgery. Don't to say. <laughs> okay, now what? Now I like to just dress it with a little olive oil. And look at these peppers right oh. here. Beautiful roasted peppers. The final product. So obviously it looks really good. The question right. is, does it taste good? All right, let's see if this passes the test. What are you just like? Quality checking it. Quality checking. A little onion on there. A little roasted pepper. Oh my God. Wow. People underestimate the octopus. This is so what oh, sink your teeth into it. And then the flavors pop out. It's amazing. Stand by. This is very official. This means that you're officially goddess approved. Yay. This is basically like a Michelin star. This is the real Michelin star. Yeah, seriously. Get ready, we're culinary gonna post world. This on our window. Now a donation is going to be made to the KL Cancer Fund. Yasu. I mean, cheers. Yasu. Cheers. Yasu. All right, let me show you something else. This is what you do. Mwah. Oh, I gotta do that technique. Yeah. Mwah. Mwah. Oh. This place feels like Greek Chipotle, trademark. Trademark, trademark. Yeah. And what we're trying to do here is promote a healthy lifestyle by doing unprocessed food. I remember images of my grandmother, Yaya. Oh, that's what you call her. I love it, Yaya. A loving little sweet uh, Greek woman taking the octopus and smashing it against the rocks, man. And what that does is it tenderizes the tentacles of so the we, octopus. We don't need a rock. You don't Nowadays. need a rock. Nowadays, it's all ready for us. We're good. It takes the fun out of it. I mean, we do live in New York City. We could always use a sidewalk. That's you want to? Should we bring it outside to the Second street? Avenue. Let's go. <laughs> Second Avenue is our I'm rock. Going, I'm going.